I'm Cars. And I'm Sparky. And this is the Lakeville, Lakeville Puppet, Puppet Wagon. Wagon. Come out here at one! Ooh. Ooh. What is it? Grandpa, what took you so long? Well, I was just looking through my magic bean collection. <sighs> Grandpa, for the last time! Those beans aren't magic! Oh. Not for the chili I'm making tonight! Oh, magic chili! No, Grandpa! Before you even have a taste of my chili, you need to clean up your stinky socks from the living room floor. <laughs> Look at them! They're everywhere! Oh, oh, Grandma, that's your sock! Oh, it's so smelly, I can smell it from over here! Oh, P.U. Oh, they're not that stinky! Yes, they are! See? Oh! Oh, Grandma! Grandma, come back! Oh, oh, oh Grandpa, what just happened? Oh, my sweet vanilla latte, your sock was so stinky that you fainted! Oh, my lovely wild parsnip. I think we should both stop leaving our socks on the floor. I think that's a good idea, Grandma. Oh, thank you, my divine rutabaga. I need to go start making our chili now. Ooh, magic chili? Grandpa! <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Good? Good. I'm so happy that you guys uh, decided to join us for the puppet show this morning. So who here has been to one of our puppet shows? You've been to one of our puppet shows? Yeah. What's your name? Um, Ace. Ace. Okay, Ace. How do we start every single one of our puppet shows? Do you remember? Uh, no, because it's been a long time. It's been a long time? Okay. Well, we always have to wake up Sparky the dog before we start our shows. And Sparky is a really deep sleeper, so we're going to have to yell, wake up Sparky, wake up, really loud, <laughs> on the count of three, okay? Can we do that? All right, one, two, three. Wake up Sparky, wake up. Oh, hello everybody. Hi, Maya. How are you on this positively beautiful day in the great city of Lakeville? Well, I am doing pretty well, Sparky, and you seem like you're really happy this morning. Uh-huh, I am. I have some really fun plans later today. Oh, really? Like what? Well, I'm making myself breakfast, but not just any breakfast, but a big and beautiful bacon breakfast. Sparky, don't you have bacon for breakfast every morning? Well, yeah, but I actually get some foods besides bacon to make sure I have all the right nutrients, like pizza and burgers and pork and oh. beef and... That sounds really tasty, Sparky. <laughs> Maya, you seem a little tired today. Oh, it's nothing. I just had to get up pretty early this morning because I had to take my dog for a walk. Oh. Uh, not you, Sparky, my other dog. <laughs> I see. Well, I just heard Eugene say that he was going to get some coffee this morning. Some coffee normally wakes you up, right? Maybe you could go with him. That is a great idea, Sparky. I will go and look for Eugene in just a little bit. But first, there's something that's really important that we have to do. Really? What is it? Does anyone in the audience have a guess? What do we still have to do before Sparky goes? Hint, it's right here. What do we have to do? Get the mail. Yes, we have to get oh, your mail, Sparky. Oh my goodness, how could I forget? Right. I love mail. Yeah. Mail, 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 oh, mail, mail. Sparky's mail. All right, I'm gonna grab the mail, okay? Thank you. Okay, Sparky, we got lots of mail today. Ooh. All right, so this first one says, we missed you, Sparky. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. Oh, I missed yeah. you guys, too. And it has a picture of you on it, too. And you look very handsome in it. Ooh, yeah, I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sparky, you always look handsome, though. Doesn't Sparky always look pretty handsome? All right. And then we have another one, and it has a hot dog sticker on it. Ooh, looks oh. tasty. Don't eat it, Sparky. This Ooh. is just a sticker. It's not an actual hot dog, okay? Oh, okay. All right. All right, and this one says, we missed you, Sparky, too, and it has lots of uh, hugs oh. and kisses on it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it oh. is. <laughs> All right, just a couple more, Sparky. So we ha this one says, I love the puppet wagon. 
wagon. Oh, the puppet wagon loves you too. Yeah, yes we do. All right, and then we have one last one, Sparky. It yes. says, dear Sparky, what's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. That's tough to decide. Oh, it's gotta be, well, there's so many. There's pizza and burgers and pork and beef. Oh, but my favorite is bacon. Yeah, bacon. Yeah, do you guys like bacon too? I like bacon too, yeah. Wonderful, you like bacon? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. So you're just like Sparky then. Yeah. Hey, nice, you do too, wonderful. All right, Sparky, so that's the last of our mail. Do you wanna go put this away and then you can come right back out here? Yep. All right. All right, right, right. <laughs> See you in a little bit. And just a reminder, if you ever wanna bring Sparky mail, we always have the mailbox out before every single one of our puppet shows. And Sparky loves to get mail, don't you Sparky? That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. And I know you're really excited to get more mail throughout the summer. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I know you're really excited, but I think you need to get going because you have to start cooking your big, beautiful bacon breakfast. Oh, that's right. I do. Well, I'll see all of you later. All right. Everyone say goodbye, Sparky. Bye, Sparky. See bye, you bye. later. All right. So now I have to go find Eugene because I need to get some coffee. There he is. Or, uh, hello, Maya. How are you on this morning? Well, I'm doing pretty good this morning, Eugene, but I am kind of tired. Or I'm tired too. I was up too late playing video games. I'm going to get some morning coffee. Would you like to join me? I would love to join you, Eugene. Um, why don't we go to my favorite coffee shop? It's called Cafe a la Lakeville. And it's really far from here, so I hope it doesn't take us too long to get there, okay? Let's get going now. All right. Ooh. And we're here. Oh, I like that slogan. <laughs> Why, hello there. Welcome to Cafe a la Lakeville. How can old Bob take care of you today? Uh, obviously a coffee, but uh, two pumps of vanilla, uh, vanilla cream sugar, 7.17 uh, pumps of chocolate, and two fuzzy caterpillars. Oh. Kids, are there, norm is there normally like caterpillars in coffee or anything that you drink? Yes, I love caterpillars. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Two fuzzy caterpillars. Let's see. I'll be right back. Got Thank a you. Mm. I will also take worms if you don't have any. That doesn't sound very tasty to me, Eugene. I'm sorry, sir. We're fresh out of fuzzy caterpillars and worms. What? What kind of a coffee shop doesn't have the exact drink I want? Well, also, I... who wears flowers on pizza? Oh, it's uh, 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 forget it. I'm going somewhere else. Oh. Okay. Um. Arr, have a nice day, I suppose. Arr. Oh well, Eugene, don't you think that was a little mean? How you just talked to Bob? Arr, whatever. Uh, well, where are you going? I'm going to my favorite park to get some steps in. Oh, well, can I come with you? I love going for walks. Do you guys like going for walks too? Yes. Yeah, walks are pretty uh, fun. Sure, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, uh over here, uh, uh, over here. Oh, hey, you, the pointy hat, you're distracting my walk. Uh, are you talking to me? Uh huh. Uh, that's not very nice. <laughs> no. Betty Pink! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry! Eugene, that was not kind at all! Whatever. I think I'm gonna get some lunch now. Alone! Okay. Well, I guess we're, we'll see Eugene later. Kids, do you think that uh, Eugene was being very nice to Bob in the coffee shop when he said that about his flowers and his pizza? Yeah, I don't think so either. And do you think it was very nice for him to say that Betty Pink's head was too pointy on his walk? Nope. Yeah, you're right. That was not very nice. It's never okay to make fun of someone for how they look, right? Yeah. Well, I really hope that Eugene starts acting a little kinder later today because it's not like him to be so unkind. Well, sometimes when I'm having a bad day, it's because I'm just hungry. So maybe Eugene's just kind of upset because he needs to eat lunch. So let's see if he feels better after he, he eats something. Ba -ba -bum -bum. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Arr, let me find somewhere to sit. Mm -hmm. How about here? Oh, oh, a new friend. Hi there, what's your name? Arr, none of your business. Well, it's nice to meet you, none of your business. Mm -hmm. 
What would you two like to order? Ah, uh, meat caviar with gold flakes in it. Hmm. I think I'll take Hershey's Kisses. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, who orders chocolate for lunch? You're weird. I'm leaving. Oh, none of your business. I thought we were friends. Mm. Oh, okay. Arr. Why do I feel so crummy inside? Well, Eugene, I think it might have something to do with you not being very kind today. Arr, what do you mean? Well, have you ever heard of the bucket filling rule? Uh, no. Well, maybe someone in the audience has heard about it. Kids, have you ever heard of the bucket filling rule? No? All right, well, we'll learn about it all together. So the bucket filling rule goes like this. Every single person carries around an invisible bucket with them everywhere they go. And this bucket has water in it. The more water you have in your bucket, the happier you feel. And the less water you have in your bucket, the more sad you feel. Arr. But every single time that you do something nice for someone or are kind to them, you fill up their bucket and they feel happier. Arr. But every single time you're not nice to someone or you say things that are mean, you empty water from their bucket and they feel more sad. Arr. Well, why should I care? That's someone else's bucket, not my bucket. Well, here is the thing, Eugene. Every single time that you say something nice to someone and it fills up their bucket, it also fills up your bucket too, so you feel happier. <gasps> but that also means every single time that you do something that's not nice to someone or you say mean words to someone, you empty their bucket and yours too. That could be why you're not feeling so happy today. That makes sense. I haven't been a very nice person today. I need to make things right. Okay, well, I think that you can turn this around. Do we think Eugene can turn this around and be nice? Yep. Yes, I think he can do it too. So let's help Eugene retrace his steps today and figure out what he needs to do to refill up all the buckets that he emptied, okay? Arr. So does anyone remember the first place we stopped today? Ooh. Where did we stop first? Uh, Bob's coffee. Yes, <gasps> Bob's Coffee Shop. So let's head there first and you can try to fill up Bob's bucket, okay? Arr, let's go. All right. Cafe a la Ooh, I like that slogan. All right, and remember Eugene, Kind words fill buckets. Arr. Oh, it's you again. Hi, listen. I wasn't very nice earlier. I shouldn't have made fun of your looks. I actually really love flowers, and pizza is one of my favorite foods. You look really cool. Oh, well. Well, that's very sweet, man. I appreciate you saying all that. Here's a coffee <gasps> on the house. It may not have any fuzzy caterpillars, but it does have vanilla and chocolate. Wow, that's really, really kind of you. You're the best. Yeah, no problem. Oh my goodness, would you look at that, Eugene? You got some coffee and you also made a new friend. Arr. I'm so proud of you for apologizing. Yeah, <laughs> and that felt really good. Well, I think we can get you to feel even better and we can make others feel even better too. So does anyone remember the second place we stopped today? Where did we stop? Or, uh... At the park, oh, that's right. Park. So let's go to the park and see yes. if we can find Betty Pink let's go to and apologize to her. Okay. Arr, there you are. Hello there. Oh, it's you. Do you have something else to say about my pointy head? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, no. I actually wanted to apologize. You don't have a pointy head. Oh. You have an awesome head with a glittery crown on. And you and your head look amazing. Oh, well, that's that's actually very sweet. Uh, that's really nice, thank you. That makes me feel really happy. My name's Betty Pink, by the way. What's yours? Eugene, I'm so glad you can accept my apology. I'd really like to be friends. Well, of course. I, I take walks here every day. You should join me tomorrow. Or right, I will. All right. Oh, wonderful. Well, good job, Eugene. I'm so proud of how well you're doing with filling up buckets today. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling so good. I think my bucket's getting full too. That's exactly what I hoped would happen. All right, so I think there's still one more puppet we need to talk to. Arr. Where was the third place we stopped? Where was it? We ate, oh. yes, let's go to where we ate lunch, which yes. I think was at McDonald's, wasn't it? 
Arr, I think so. All right, so let's go there and see if we can find kisses and apologize to him. Arr. Ba -bum -bum -bum. I'm loving it. <laughs> Arr, hello there again. Oh, it's none of your business. I knew you'd be back. Actually, my name isn't none of your business. It's Eugene. Oh, really? Well, well why didn't you tell me your real name? I don't know. I wasn't being very open and kind earlier, Ooh. and I'm so sorry about that. I would like to be friends with you. What's your name? Oh, well, it's Kisses. <laughs> I really like that name. Uh, did you by chance get your Hershey Kisses earlier? Oh, well, no, I felt kind of bad about it when you made fun of my favorite food. Arr, arr, I'm sorry, Kisses. I shouldn't have made fun of your food choice, because the truth is, I really like chocolate, too. Oh, really? Including Hershey's Kisses? Yes, especially Hershey's Kisses. Oh. Did you want to order something? Yes. Hershey's, Hershey's Kisses. Kisses. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, the rest of the day, Eugene and Kisses spent getting to know each other, doing lots of filling up other people's buckets by doing kind things, and of course, they ate lots and lots of Hershey's Kisses. Do you guys like Hershey's Kisses? I like Hershey's Kisses a lot too, they're really tasty. All right, so at the beginning of the show today was Eugene being very nice. No, Eugene was not being very nice at all. He was saying some pretty hurtful things to his friends and making fun of the way they looked, which is never okay, right? Yeah. And then he realized he wasn't just making them feel bad, but he was making himself feel sad too, because when he was emptying their bucket, he was emptying his too. So then he turned everything around and he started um, apologizing to the people whose bucket he'd emptied and filling their buckets back up by being nice to them. All right. And he now is so much happier and um, it's all because he was kind. So being kind is really always the way to go. It sure is. I feel really, really good. And from now on, every single day, I'm going to be filling people's buckets. Oh, that's so wonderful, Eugene. Yeah, I think we're both going to try and be nice every single day from now on, right? Arr. Yeah. Do you guys want to be nice every single day, too? Do you want to be nice? Yeah, being nice is fun, too. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any ideas of how we can be nice to others? Yeah, what, so what's an idea? Yes, we can be kind to them. We can say nice things to them. Like if you really like someone's shirt or if um, you really like a joke they told or you think they're just a really cool person and you just want to say, hey, I really like you. You're really cool. Those are all wonderful things you can do to fill up people's buckets. All right. So I think now is the time in the show where Eugene and I say goodbye and we're going to hand it over to our amazing Wrap up rapper Bob. Everybody, welcome to the stage, Bob. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Brick of in Bird here, Bob for short. And I'm feeling so good, and my bucket is so full that I think I feel a rap coming on. Hit it. <laughs> Everyone should know that bullying is silly And friendship is as magical as grandma's chili Eugene can now continue on being nice to others In return his friends are close like sisters and his brothers He's really not a bad guy Although he made us all cry Realized he rather would be kind than say goodbye Offered a retry He kindly apologized And now our buckets are so full we feel super fly Bullseye sure as this wagon is red And the pizza pie on my head Thank you so much for coming out to the puppet wagon today Oh yeah, Brick Oven Bird, out.